What's up guys? Today's gonna be a really quick video, but this is gonna be about the Ascendo speakers that I reviewed the other day. If you missed that video, definitely go back and check it out. I wanted to follow up on this, on that video because of the fact that these speakers do not use binding posts. They actually use these little tiny green connectors, which are called Phoenix connectors. I really hate these because I review a lot of speakers and in order to use these, you actually have to take your speaker wire or cable, you gotta strip them down and fit them through these little tiny holes, which can be a real pain in the butt. With binding posts, you can either just use your standard banana plugs and just pop them in and out, but this one here, you actually have to take out the connector, like so, and then you have to unscrew them and then put some bare wire into it. But shout out to the subscriber who recommended that I use ferrules to get this thing installed correctly and properly and a lot easier. So this is a 1,250 piece assortment set of different size ferrules. You can see that it gives you all of the product codes there, how many pieces are there, and also the colors as well. So if you open this thing up, I don't have this memorized, so I wrote down the actual gauges that each color will, will cover, which goes from eight gauge in the red, the side here, all the way up to a 22 gauge. Included in the kit, we also get this crimping tool. This is a ratcheting crimping tool. So if you press it once, it opens up, press it down again, it closes it up for easy storage. So this will be used to crimp the little ferrules onto, the, onto your cable. So what you're gonna have to do now, grab your cable. This is a little, spare piece of a uh, 16 gauge cable that I have. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a little piece off the end here. Just a little slight, little sliver, like so. We're gonna twist it around. We're gonna go to our ferrule assortment. Go to the 16 gauge, which is the E1508, or depending on what size cable that you're using. I'm gonna grab that. And now that we've got our little bare end cable right there, we're gonna slide it into the ferrule, which this ferrule has a, a barrel, which is hollow. So we're gonna take the wire and stick it in there like so, so that the bare wire goes through the little silver barrel. And you can see that this is like a perfectly fitted end piece. So there's not a lot of wiggle room. So it's nice and snug. Now we're just gonna go ahead and insert it into the crimping tool, right in the hole. Give it a squeeze. And there you go. It should be nice and tightly secured onto the cable. Next, we are going to grab the Phoenix connector which you'll see on one side, there's a bunch of screws which will loosen and tighten the little openings here, which are these little square holes. We're gonna take our little screwdriver, stick it into the screw. We're gonna open up the hole, the opening, which you just, which you can see it opening up there. We're gonna take our crimped cable, stick it into the hole, now we are just gonna tighten it back down to get a nice, secure, snug fit. And if you do it correctly, this should be nice and secure and not come loose. And the good thing about using the ferrules is the fact that, let's just open up this side here. If you're just using if you're just using bare wire and you, and you stick it in the hole like so, you could end up with some frayed pieces which could actually touch the other one and maybe blow up your amplifier or cause a short or something like that. So using the ferrules is definitely a safer way to keep anything from shorting out in your system. And it makes it a lot easier to remove and install as well. Now that we got that all terminated, all you gotta do is pop that right back into the speaker and it's nice and secured. And if you wanna remove it, super easy. So there you go. Thanks once again for the recommendation on the ferrules. 
And if you are interested in picking up any of these Sendo speakers, I do highly recommend you picking up the ferrules and the ferrule crimping tool. It makes life a whole lot easier. And one more thing that I just want to clarify, because I know there were some questions about it in the comment section, is that yes, the 10 inch model, which is this guy here, uses a compression tweeter. So this is a coaxial design with a compression in the center, whereas the six and the six wedge use soft dome tweeters in the coaxial configuration. So this is a compression driver, while the six and six wedge use soft dome tweeters. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Check out the review of the Ascendo speakers if you've missed it. And I've also got a review of their subwoofer, the SV12 as well, which I didn't talk too much about in the Ascendo review video, but I gave it its own separate review video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.